My name is Derek Lemire. I'm a uh, Rocky Boy tribal member and a Colville Confederated Tribes descendant. I'm a documentary filmmaker out of Spokane, Washington by way of the reservation. In high school I had failed a uh, English course. They put me in a script writing class at a college. Once they told me that you can break it down and make this is how movies are made, like I had never pictured it. And then after that I was like, now I know what I want to do. I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after that salmon leaps into the night air above the water, throws a lightning bolt at the brush near my feet and starts the fire, which will lead all of the lost Indians home. I am told by many of you that I must forgive. United by Water really started off uh, with my friend John Zinzer. He was the carver of all the canoes, or at least the lead man. Um, he knew I had done another film called The Seventh Wave. He's like, you're from here, your family's here, we're actually carving with, you know, one of your relatives. <laughs> Um, it's called United by Water because all of us came from our own homelands and went up to Kettle Falls, which used to be like a big trading ground for all races, all tribes. We were able to, you know, include some really cool uh, archival footage that had never been seen. I mean, we can tell you about it all we want, but if we have proof and we can show you it, that's what makes documentaries fun. And And, you know, doing documentary films, you can really, um, really reach out and learn a lot about more people. It not only helps my project, but it helps me grow as a person. For many in the community, the Inchalim Canoe signified more than just a reconnection to their waterways to Kettle Falls. It became a vessel back to the Sinaijkst tribal homeland in British Columbia. Working in communities that aren't represented very well, you know, not only presenting some of their beliefs and feelings, but giving them the opportunity to speak is a huge thing for me. In July 1933, construction began on the Grand Coulee Dam, still one of the largest concrete structures in the world. That dam submerged ancient villages and falls and eventually killed all of the wild salmon in the upper Columbia and Spokane rivers. Seattle Documentary Association reached out to the tribe to do land acknowledgement for the Wenatchee and they were like, do you want to be a part of it? Hey, come, come to this really cool thing about, you know, acknowledging the people of the area. For me, to be able to take me out of that bubble and, you know, um, come out and be able to participate and hopefully bring back this, this same vibe that Seattle Dock Association does and work with a lot of people, talk about some of the great things we're doing, but also the concerns we have and kind of realize we're all, we're all pretty related in some way, shape, or form. I'm glad that documentary filmmaking is being more respected and being more um, seen as a really valuable tool in mass media. I hope that people see it that, that way and continue to support it. You know, artists coming together and working together and putting out great work. I'd say just be confident. And you know, that's, it's easy to say than do, but once you do, you're, you know, it's, it's a big move. It's, you know, changed me a lot.